G'day folks, how are you going? Sky Pilot here. Something a bit different today, I normally do quads and drones as all you guys know. However, I have been supplied with this fantastic little gizmo. One of a few items that I am reviewing and have reviewed from my very good friends at GT Power. Makers of some pretty cool RC spec gear. Check them out, link down below as usual. My last review from GT Power is of this SD4 Mark 1 charger. So have a look at that while you're there if you're in the market for a 2-4S LiPo charger. And they make some fairly decent pieces of kit. But what we're going to review today is this little package. Which is the car engine sound simulator. So it's called a simulated system. What you do with this fantastic little device guys is hook it up to your RC car, buggy, whatever. Anything that has a channel receiver on it. It's basically a plug and play speaker system so that when you throttle up your RC car it makes any one of 58 kinds of sounds which is pretty decent. So what happens is when you hook this up to your RC car, when you give the throttle a punch, it makes a really nice motor sound that is consistent with the level of throttle you are giving the car, which is pretty cool. So let's crack it open, let's see what you guys get, and let's hook it up to the RC car. Really easy to hook up, folks. And let's have a listen. See how cool this GT Power car engine sound system is. Okay, so opening up, we have a nice little package here. Nice little plastic protective case. And inside it, you'll see this is the speaker system, which contains all the bits and bobs. We'll run through that directly. You get a manual, you get a couple of Velcro 3M sticky tabs so that you can stick the unit down inside your truck wherever you see fit. And you get your little adapter here with a T connector on it. She comes with both sides of the T, both male and female, depending on your application. Instruction manual, pretty decent, pretty easy to read, not too tiny. You can connect it up to any 2 to 6S LiPo. So I've actually just grabbed my Emacs 4S 850. So we're going to power it up to that. So it comes with connectors. So one of these is your power supply. And one goes to the radio of your buggy. The instruction manual tells you some do's and don'ts. Tells you about the unit, what the buttons are, which I'll run through shortly. Different operation methods, we have a normal mode here, calibration mode, and the sound effect selection mode. And on the rear here is just some software functions, so you can actually hook this up to your PC, run a program, and with the micro USB in the rear here, you can actually update sounds and everything as you see fit but with 58 kinds of sound effects i don't think we'll worry about it too much with the unit itself like i said there's the speaker micro sd on the rear here really nicely put together guys as you would expect three buttons here the left one is a cancel button the center one with the speaker on it is a mode button and the one on the far right is a confirming button couple of different processes to get different sounds once you have selected your sound you simply press the negative and positive to make the to make the engine sound louder or quieter so let's hook it up I'll show you guys how to hook it up give it a run and let's have a listen to some sounds I haven't had this going for a while so I'm hoping it's going to work so we use the supplied cable for our power we'll just hook that up now if you don't have too many Dean connectors or T connectors you will need to grab yourself an adapter 
I'll leave a link down below for you where to get this from so that just enables you to hook in that part of your T into the XT60 which has our power supply for our speaker system so that hooks into there like so I'm sure it's the right way around and you'll notice once you have powered it up which I have nothing's going to happen it won't happen until you've powered up your actual remote control car or buggy so the other cable here I did forget to mention that it comes with a wire connector of this three point cable one end goes into the receiver which is responsible for your throttle and the two wire pieces are separated one is for the speaker system and one goes back to the buggy pretty straightforward so once that's all hooked up we shall power it on and let's have a listen So once you have power, you can see there is a small blue LED flashing light on there, and nothing's happening because we haven't we haven't hit the gas yet. So let's hit the gas and let's have a listen. Oh, oh boy! Okay, <laughs> she started up. To apologize my my rear drive on this buggy is shot so that's quite loud but I think we can get the idea fairly well about how this works now if you wish to do so you can make it louder or quieter so that's the quietest setting let's pump it up a couple of notches That's pretty loud. Okay, let's have a listen to that. That's really cool. And if you don't use it for a short period of time, it actually turns itself off. That's really cool. Okay, let's find a couple of different sounds so I can show you guys what sort of noises this thing makes. So it's a matter of pressing the center button until you hear two beeps. So that's the number 18 sound. Number 19. Number 19. Number 20. <laughs> Number 22. Number 23. Number 23. More oh, like that one. And if you want to go straight to 30, you just press 2, 3, 4, 5 times. And it'll go straight up to that desired number. Number 23. Uh, 23 sounds pretty good. Let's stick with that. So I'll press the press the center button, and we are good to go. Let's make that a bit louder, shall we? Really cool. What a fun bit of kit that's going to be. So that's the nuts and bolts of it, guys. It does allow you to update it. Uh, it also allows you to calibrate the center stick of your throttle, and that's really easy to do. It's just a matter of pressing the plus button here until you hear two beeps. Put your stick in the center. Press the plus button quickly, 
and it's center calibrated really 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 simple I don't even need to go through it I might just connect all this together and tuck this sound system underneath put the canopy on and <laughs> I might just take it outside even though it's pouring with rain and have a quick film and have a listen to it outside in the open off of the workbench what do you think guys GT power car engine sound Link down below guys, go check out my good friends at GT Power. Lots more gear from them coming up as well. I'll just quickly mention, including a, another version of an RC car sound system. However, this one has Bluetooth. It also has lights and indicator sounds as well. So slightly upgraded from this system here. But if you're looking for something simple and basic, something for the kids, really, really good gift idea. If your kids are into RC, grab one of these folks. So cool. There you have it guys, GT Power engine sound system. Every RC car and truck needs one of these, let me tell you. Lots and lots of fun. See you next video, lots more to come. Big thumbs up. See you soon guys. Take it easy and bye for now.